Hey, hey, everyone, Hearst Quasar here, and welcome to Quasar's Customs. We are in the middle of doing some movie cars, and you knew by the thumbnail that this is Mr. Bean's car. A little Mini Cooper, like a 1965 Mini Austin Mini Cooper. Um, this mod is by Gollywog. Um, awesome little car. I like these little cars, actually. Um, these are fun little cars to build. Uh... Got this one from an auction, believe it or not. Look at the look how horrible it looks. Um, but we're gonna fix it up and um, I'm gonna treat it right. And I think I'm gonna give it some baby moons actually um, for this one. I was looking online to see what kind of wheels uh, the bean car had, and uh, they're they're kind of like they're kind of like the uh, baby moons. So I think I may go with those baby moons. Um, no, I have not seen this movie. I have no idea what it is about. Um, the guy kind of freaks me out a little bit. The actor, I don't know I even know his name. Um, yeah, he kind of freaks me out a little bit. Um, but anyway, um, he does act funny. And, hey, I mean, this was a pretty big movie, if I, if I remember right. So, good for them. Um... This was actually, um, now that I think about it, let me see who, um, man, this thing has two fuel pumps. Hey, <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Um, I believe, uh, I forget who it was. There was somebody on, uh, my YouTube channel that, um, had suggested the Mr. Bean car. It was either on YouTube or um, in the on the Facebook page. I'm not quite sure which. I will find out in just a second. So, how is everyone doing? Um, hope your hope this video is finding you well, happy, and healthy uh, with everything going on in the world today. It is nuts out there. Just simply nuts. Uh, all right, this is whew, whew, done. So yeah, I got this car from the auction, and man, you would not believe it by looking at it. But it looks like I should have just pulled it straight out of the, the damn junkyard because it's in horrible shape, right? Absolutely horrible shape. Um, let's see. Should I go full on with uh, the Mr. Bean car? Yeah, we'll give it. We'll give it a little more. It has a small engine in it, so we'll try to give it as much power as possible. How's that? Um, we'll do that. I mean, why not, right? Um, brakes. We need at least two of those drums, at least. Um, I think it was uh, just rubber bushings. I believe and two shocks but I don't know what else got destroyed in the process of me trying to do that oh and I want to thank everyone for the tips uh, I, I'm trying to um, figure out go straight into yeah that's, a, that's much shorter um, so if you hit T um, go straight into your parts, and I don't even know what oh, was I. Is that what I was getting at? Um, hell, I don't remember. <laughs> All right, what the heck? Um, brakes. Yeah, got those all set up. Suspension for the most part's pretty good. Gotta get. Where are the brakes? Oh, we got the springs. That's right. Um, springs and the caps. So let's pick up the sp springs and the caps. Yeah, so anyway, thank you. I thank all of you for some of the uh, comments I've been getting on, um, on the channel and the... Um, tips I've been getting as well um, I really 
really, really appreciate everything that you've uh, added in there. Um, definitely trying to do my best to do the uh, tips that you say. Um, I will tell you that, you know, I've been playing this game for so long, it's kind of hard to break one habit and to try to force another. But, um, yeah, using the T button to jump right into the parts catalog is a is a savior, no doubt. All right, so... We are coming close to the end of the movie cars. I have um, um, there have been some suggestions about doing uh, TV themed uh, cars from TV shows. Um, unfortunately, I've, I have been trying to look around to see what there's out there. Um, not a whole lot. I mean, I would love to have done like the Charlie's Angels, all three of their Mustangs. Um, it's an older TV show for you younger guys. Um, look it up. Farrah Fawcett was, by all... Uh, by all, I don't know, measures of life, was the sex symbol of every teenage boy. Um, every teenage boy had her poster up in his room, including myself. Um, I mean, she was just sexy. Um... But I always, I, I liked her, but I always liked uh, Jacqueline, Jacqueline, Jacqueline. Oh, oh I'm, my mind's drawing a blank here. Oh my goodness. I, I can't believe it. I've, like, gone totally blank. Farrah Fawcett was the blonde. Uh, anyway. All right, is that good? All right. Um... Let's see. We wanted to put some baby moons on here, and I wanted to go with a chrome set of baby moons. So, what do we have left here? Um, get rid of all this junk. Um, it is a, ooh, a 10, huh? 145, 80, 10. Hmm. 145, 80, 10. That's interesting. That's kind of an odd size, I think. Okay, let's see if I can get rims. Um, I want to go with the baby moons. I think the baby moons would look good on this. Um, it's going to be four of them. Can I get down to a... a yeah, I can get down to a size of uh, 10. Um, I want to go a slightly... Uh, we'll go. We'll keep. Uh, can we keep it ten? Um. Yeah, we'll keep it at ten. I mean, come on. Uh, and then we're gonna go with uh, a set of. Um. I don't know. We'll go with these. Uh, four of them. Go with a ten. I think this is a 145. We'll go with a 155, 75. How's that? I will go with the 165, 70. Yeah, we'll go with the 165, 70. Let's see how these look on the car. So itty bitty, man. So itty bitty. That kind of looks ridiculous. Um, I'm not sure I'm liking that. It looks kind of funky. Doesn't even look like the tire is sitting on there right. Is it to you guys? Okay, I'm going to take this tire off. And I'm going to set it on here and see what it looks like. Because it doesn't look right to me. Maybe it's a tire. Is it the tire? 
Yeah, I'm not I'm not liking the tire. Huh. All right. Um. All right. So let's find a different. We went with a standard or a sport tire. I don't know which ones we went with. But I think we are going to go with... Um, let's go with the standard tire. Let's see what we get with this. Um, The 145.80, we're going to go with the 70. Whew. Looks kind of funky. Sport tire. Now we want to go with the, was the standard tires we just got. Yeah, we just got the standard tires. Let's try this out. <clears throat> Still looks funky as heck. <laughs> it, it looks it looks weird to me. I'm trying to figure out why it looks so dang weird. But anyway, I think I'll just stick with these for right now. I guess. I, I'm, it's just kind of weird looking. Alright, well, I mean, it looks kind of cool. It's a Mr. Bean car. I mean, come on. Um, we'll deal with that. Stand or tire. Thank you. Yeah, this will work. I mean, come on. Sure beats those big Coopers that were on there, right? Those are some ugly tires. I yeah, that looks that looks kind of cool to me. I can I can deal with that. I think I can deal with that. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and take this all apart. Yeah, this is going to be an interesting, an, another interesting uh, engine build here because um, this is another one of these front-wheel drive engines that uh, I've never, I don't build often, and I think it's a four-cylinder, so it shouldn't take too much to rebuild it. I'm hoping not, anyway. Gollywog's done a, an excellent job on this, that's for sure. Oh, what's hanging up? All right, that's hanging up. These Mini Coopers are, are really cool. I, I was, I forget where I was. I think I was at a, um, believe it or not, I think I was at a Honda dealership. And they had one of these on the showroom, believe it or not. Um, and... Um, I couldn't believe how small it was. I mean, it is dinky. You, it looks like you could just kind of like pick it up with your hands and set it to the side. That's how small it is. We're definitely going to need some bearings in this. You know, for like I said, for an auction car, man, this thing was, was in really bad shape. And I don't, I don't remember the price on that I had to pay for this. I'm sure I paid through the nose because as soon as I saw it, I knew I needed it. And um, I don't know. Um, what's the miles on this? 129. Yeah, it was probably because of the miles um, I had to pay through the nose for um, because I really wanted it. And because I wanted it, you know, I'm going to sit there and bid until my fingers fall off. But um, hang on. Oh. You, 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 you. 
Head off, take this off. And while I'm underneath here, I'm, uh, I've got to take care of some other things. So, got to get rid of that. And I can't take that off because I got to take the starter off from up above. Yeah, go freaking figure. Ah, all right, I I'm good. I'm cool. It's all good. So I can only do so much of the front end here. All right, brakes. Two of those, two of the pads. Let's jump into the suspension because you know we're going to need yeah, two of those. Uh, two of those, two of those. I missed a button on it. Um, I think eight of these will be sufficient. Uh, it doesn't have a cap because it has a front axle to it. Okay, let's see what we have here. Uh, brakes. Ventilated, ventilated, pad and pad, gotcha. Suspension. Um, ooh, I need a sway bar. Bummer. Eight of them it is. Cool. Ooh. It's an A link, not a B link. Damn, Hurst. Screwed the pooch on that one. Alright, so an A link it is. And front sway bar. I believe we are good there. Yep. At A links. Yep, okay. So let's jump over here to the spring compressor and let's get this pup let's get a couple of these puppies going. Alright. Yeah, well see you see the uh, Corvette over there. I, it's, it's, I haven't had a chance to work on it. I got through the um, two cars from the movies from the movie Bad Boys and um, actually doing some spring cleaning over in my other garage, my other profile. Um, getting things kinda geared up over there. Um, did a Colorado just for fun. Um, it showed up at uh, one of the uh, one of the times I went to the uh, junkyard, just kind of cruising around looking for stuff, and uh, found it and said, "Yeah, I want to buy. I want to build it." So I built it and took pictures of it and posted it over on Facebook. But uh, yeah, for the most part, it was just one of those builds that kind of wanted to do so I did it and the other profile is soon gonna be up and running I want to do a new series called rot to rad um, if you're wondering what that means rot meaning junkyard to rad meaning fully built and being a radical looking car yeah I know radical was a term used in what the 80s Totally radical or something. I I think it was in the 80s. Anyway. Um, so yeah, that is the plan for that. And I've got things pretty much tidied up over there. i um, been trying to split my time between here and my summer car. Um, so it's been, it's, it's been rough. It's been, it's been a little rough, even though uh, I am working from home right now um, and not doing any traveling whatsoever of course so um, yeah so let's see okay but to, I had to see if I could put the put that back in and I actually probably could but I'm not going to all right um, then it's just front end up and then we're going to yank that motor out Or maybe we won't even yank the motor out. We'll just build one on the stand over there. Just for giggles. Alright. Um, so 
So that should about do it. Wait a minute. Did I get both the bushings? Oh, I didn't get that bushing over there. There we go. Thought there was something missing. Alright. And the Mr. Bean car is such as this uh, real bright yellow. You know what I mean? It's just really bright yellowish green color. <sighs> kind of ugly if you ask me. Uh, what, we have no brake cylinder in here? Okay, um, everything's taken care of in the back, so that should be good. Hey, spent nothing on that. Alright, uh, I need to take the starter out from up here. Go ahead and take the starter out. Um, way I can do something with it. Alright, time to get rid of my junk. Um... Got everything, need everything. All right, uh, what do we have in here? We have an I-4 single overhead cam ABT. So an I-4, huh? I-4 single overhead cam ABT. That's what we need. All righty, uh, what do we need here? An I-4 block, of course. So let's go jumping right into there and let's get ourselves an I-4. Let's see if we can just do that. Uh, I-4 single overhead cam. We're going to need that probably. Uh, geez, I don't know which one I need there. I'll, 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 I'll. Jeez, uh, I think it's just the I-4 block. Wow. Yeah, I didn't know there was going to be that many of them. Um, I think it's just going to be the I-4. Straight up I-4. <laughs> you know what? I have no idea. This is crazy. Absolutely crazy. All right. Um... All right, got the block, okay, cool. Did I get a crankshaft for this? Yes, I did. All right, so power steering pump for the I-4, water pump for the I-4, I got that. Um, alternator, did get the oil filter. All right, so Mr. Bean car, should we dress this up with a little bit? I think I'm going to do internal parts, and I'm not going to have any red external parts. Um, so uh, I think that's what I'm going to do. Uh, let's flip this bad boy over. Um, da -dum -dum. All right, so let's dive right in here. We need rings. Uh, piston rings for those um, cap for those uh, crankshaft bearing cap I think we need three of those I'm not entirely sure gearbox one of those. Um, let's jump over to the oh whoa whoa um, filter. I definitely need a fuel filter, but I'm not putting the red one on. I'm going to go straight up with the stock one, and I'm going to go to the internal side here and get uh, pistons. My fingers are not working. Yeah, trying to teach an old dog new tricks. <laughs> That's me, all right. That is absolutely me trying to trying to do the new stuff. Uh, 
There we go. This is this is gonna work out well. I hope. I did not get over to the speed shop to get the stuff from the back for the um, crankshaft. That's all right. And ball pan. Eh, that wasn't too hard. Uh, let's flip this back away. Just flip her over. Okay, so what? What is the head that we need on here? Oh, we got fuel filter. We'll go ahead and put that on. I four single overhead. Okay. I four steering pump. I don't think the steering pump is in the parts shop. I four string pump. Oh, I guess it is. Cool. Okay, so alternator. Um, gearbox stuff. Let me get to grab the gearbox stuff. Uh, head I four single head. Oh, got it. Um. Camshaft is a single overhead, oh, single overhead, so it has to be just one, right? I one would guess. Um, and I think these have bearings, but I'm not sure which one I'm needing. It's an I4B. Hmm. I think it's the camshaft cap, but we'll find out here in a second. How's that? Um, the flywheel all taken care of back here. And I did not forget the throttle bearing. Uh, air steering pump. Looks good. Not bad, not bad at all. I just don't want anything external looking really weird. Yeah, I need one, two, three, four, five of them bearing caps. Okay, spark plugs, five bearing caps. <laughs> and the intake. Okay, let's see if I can remember all this stuff. Uh, bearing cap, camshaft caps, I need five of you. Right, let's go back over to the speed shop. Um, spark plugs. Need four of those. Um, intake. Uh, dang, I don't know which one it is. Do we not have one for the single overhead? It's an I-4. I-4. Crap, I don't think we have one. Um. Dang. Kidding me, right? Um, yeah, let me find out which one I need. M I4 MPI. Okay, so the MPI. Got it. I'll remember to get that one, that's for sure. All right, cruising right along here. Like I said, there's not, there's, there hasn't been too many times I've built one of these engines, so it's kind of, it's, it's a little different. It is going quicker than I thought it was going to, though. 
So that's a good thing. Uh, power boost shop. I know I can get the ignition coil pack. Um... Timing belt, I can get. And that. Okay. Uh, I think I got it. I think I got it. Um, let's go I4. We get the timing belt. Um, let's get the coil pack over here. Then, um, oh, we have to go cover. Just go cover. So head cover. Uh, not sure which one it was going to be. Not looking like any of these, that's for sure. <sighs> okay. I have failed. I still didn't get that. Jesus. Go ahead, put you on. Put you on. This is going to be in the back, so I think that's that'll be fine. Need the wires. Engine head cover. Belt tensioner. Okay, it just says engine head cover, so... Eh. Uh, just straight up engine head cover. Right there it is. Engine head cover. Uh, wires... I four single overhead valve. Needed a uh, belt tensioner. Let's jump over to speed shop for the intake. So I need the I four MPI. I think I'm gonna need a throttle for that too. think that's the one. Don't quote me on it. Okay, so that's good to go. Yeah. That's working out. That's working out. We're getting it good. Looking like a plain old engine. I'm thinking this is going to turn out okay. Okay, I am needing... Ooh, I need a f fuel rail right there. How does the fuel rail look? Uh, the MPI fuel rails. How do these... Uh, <sighs> MPI fuel rail. Oh, it's kind of crumbish. It's not red, so that's good. I will definitely put that on there. Yeah, that works. Um, yeah. Get a roller. Shoot. Okay, now for the belt. Uh, uh, single overhead cam. All right. All right. I should have just gotten everything while I was in the search for all this. But, I, you know, I get afraid that I'm, I'm getting the wrong thing. And then I'm just wasting money. 
Um, Team belt A. Er, yeah. Ah. Uh. All right, I think we are good to go with this. Mm hmm. Um, yep, everything's good to go. All right, let's go ahead and. Uh, oh, I gotta disconnect the. Disconnect the oh crap. You mean I gotta undo all that? Oh jeez. Um let's go ahead and one of those cars. You're up and down, up and down. Yeah, we gotta take this exhaust manifold off. Then we have to take the exhaust off down below. Now this will be super easy, so it's just like take you out, put you in. Super duper easy. Okay, so let's see. Can I um, can I repair things? What can I repair? I repaired them, but I think I can get um, this exhaust manifold. Speed shop. There we go. Um, exhaust, I think, is uh, in here as well. Yep, that one right there. Okay, I think I've got everything I needed. Let's see what we can do here. Well, we're gonna keep the standard transmission in it. I think, just for giggles, that's not what I wanted. Front exhaust section, what did I get? Oh. Well, that doesn't make any sense whatsoever. <laughs> oh well. Wasted money. Waste, just wasting, just wasting the money. Oh, rear clamshell. I'm gonna have to take that off. Um, that's the exhaust pipe I'm gonna need. We're just gonna put the typical transmission back in this bad boy yeah okay so that's done oh actually while I have it in the air I can actually go ahead and put the drive shaft back in it the drives back in it put the wheels on it oh hell I left the wheels back here I still say they look kind of funny on here. It's got a nice suspension on it now, boys. Looking good. fingerprints off there okay um I got all that got all that okay so that's been taken care of
Where clamshell is this exhaust pipe that's right there? All right. Um, doesn't really line up that well, but that's okay. All right. Uh, starter. Starter in. That's a fancy exhaust manifold. Cover? Yeah. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. I think this is just about done. We're going to get some body work done, and we are going to call it done. All right, let's start stripping her down. so funny I think we've got all the parts off of it let's clean her up There's a piece here that must not be. Okay, so can I get that? Get all that, okay. So let's see if we can, I'm hoping to repair everything. <sighs> I think we did. I think we actually did. Yeah, it looks and looks and good, looking good. I've got to get uh, brand new glass for it. And I don't even think I'm going to put license plates on this because it just kind of ruins the look. And I don't have the proper license plates for it anyway. This thing came with Missouri plates on it, believe it or not. Come on, who in their right mind in Missouri would be driving around in a Mina Cooper? Nobody. I don't think there's anybody in Missouri that really knows what a Mini Cooper is, probably. Um, and yes, I can joke the state because I am from that state, unfortunately. Um... Okay, well, I saw another mirror. Um, what am I missing here? Oh, it is right there. There it is. All right, um, so glass for the Mini Cooper. Let's go get that. Just type in mini, it should come up with it, right? Yeah, okay, so front glass, side glass, side glass. Um, front window, front window. Getting all the glass. I think I already got that one, but that's okay. Now you're wondering why I haven't already put the hood on it, right? It's because I gotta go paint it black, man. I think that is. Whoa, 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 wait a minute. No, no, no. Yeah, wrong one. There we go. That's the right one. Um. What kind of seats? A steering wheel, huh? All right. Um, let me get some interior pieces here. I 
think I know what I need. Uh, yep, two of these. Oh, Mr. Bean, what kind of steering wheel? I think it's the cape steering wheel, to be honest. Beautiful, beautiful. All right, where is we at? We're 80, 100% our way across. Don't have the hood on it yet. Uh, right rear fender, huh? Oh, 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 oh. Um, got about adding this piece on there. There we go. Um, all right, let's go paint. And this isn't a flat hood. This looks, this appears to be like a gloss black hood. Eh, so we are going to go black. Paint it. Aha, Mr. Bean car. It's kind of cool. The tires look freaky on it, though. Um, let's send her. Let's send her over to the dyno. Let's see what kind of numbers she lays down. There's no sense sticking her to the paint shop because she's already got everything she needs. This will be interesting. Holy crap, we didn't even break 150 with this. Alright, well... I really wasn't expecting big numbers anyway, so. All right, so there you have it. The car from Mr. Bean. Guy's a little freaky looking, but uh, like I said earlier, but hey, nice car inside and out. Tires are a little freaky, but that's okay. All right, I hope you guys enjoyed the episode. Uh, nice little mini Cooper from Mr. Bean. Um, if you like what you've seen or heard, hey, hit that like button. Subscribe. I'm trying to hit, I'm trying to get to a thousand subscribers by the end of 2020. So, uh, if you know somebody, hey, reach out. Let them know that we're doing this and get them to subscribe. Until next time, I will see you later in Quasar's Customs. I am Hearst Quasar. Good night, everyone. Be happy and healthy. I am out.